Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm going to recommend you some non-fiction books that are so easy to read. And before starting the video, I have to say this, I've read most of these books in the audiobook format. So I'll be popping up the covers of the books either here or here during the video. So let's get started. The first book that I'm recommending today is Art Matters Because Your Imagination Can Change the World by Chris Riddle and Neil Gaiman. Now, this is a book which mostly deals with the part of uh, increasing our imagination. The book mainly emphasizes that we must create stuff in order to improve our imagination and our uh, imagination skills rather than consume stuff. Now, uh, creating stuff mainly means uh, you can just um, write out something, you can draw, you can paint, you can do something that, uh, that comes out of you rather than which goes inside you. Something like reading a book or watching a movie or watching a TV show, something like that. Now, um, the main thing which I liked about this book is that Neil Gaiman particularly stresses the importance of libraries when it comes to uh, creation or uh, improving the ability of imagination in human beings. Now, uh, I'd like to read a specific quote from the book that was written by Neil Gaiman rather than Chris Riddle, which is, The world always seems brighter when you've just made something that wasn't there before. Now, if this line intrigues you to read the book, just go for it because the audiobook is just 45 minutes long and it is not even a spec boring at even a single minute. So if you like books that are quirky and non-fiction, then go for Art Matters because your imagination can change the world. The next book that I'd like to recommend to you guys is Ikigai, The Japanese Way to a Long and Happy Life by Francis Morales and Hector Garcia. I know the names of these two uh, authors is a struggle to remember and even to say, but uh, the book mo mostly deals with Ikigai, which means a reason to live in Japanese. Now, uh, it shows that uh, discovering the reason to live or a reason to live is the secret of uh, living a happy and long life throughout in any state. Now, this book is a uh, result of the research done by the authors in a small village in Japan where uh, the people with the longest lifespan in earth have been proved to live. So, uh, they believe in uh, finding the Ikigai uh, so that they can lead a happy life that is long and disease free. Now, uh, they also say that if you find Ikigai, then uh, you'll find work enjoyable rather than a bit boring or condemning. Now, <clears throat> they also stress that there's not even a single word in uh, Japanese which means retire as it means in English. And the most of the Japanese also don't retire from their job until they pass away. So if you want to uh, have a book which gives you hope, then go for Ikigai, the Japanese way to a long and happy life. I'm not going to say the author's names again. I'll just put it in the description below. The next book that I'm going to recommend today is As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Now, this is also a short book. If you go for the audiobook format, it is also just 40 to 50 minutes long, which makes it very easy to read and easy to remember as well. And the name of the author is not tough as it was in Ikigai. So you can uh, just go for the book for that purpose itself. And the main thing about, thing about As a Man Thinketh is that it is an old book, but the ideas that are said in the book are so unconventional that they can be used in any uh, period in life. That is, uh, you can even use it 10 years after now because all of those uh, things are so solid to follow. And uh, another important thing or different thing about a man, As a Man Thinketh is that uh, like no other non-fiction books, it doesn't put out stories uh, and uh, say that if you want to become this, do this. Or if you want to achieve this in life, do this. Uh, he just gives away suggestions that uh, that is uh, you can do this if you want to become that it's not that you have to do this in, the, in order to become that and so you just uh, feel obligated that you have to do that in order to become a better person in life and uh, <clears throat> another thing about as a man thinketh is that it is not like reading a book it is like getting some good advice or good suggestions from a friend so if you like reading such type of books then go for as a man thinketh by James Allen the next book that I'm going to recommend to you guys is Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu that is translated to English and read by Stephen Mitchell. Now I've just listened to the audiobook but the audiobook itself is very very good. It has totally 81 chapters, believe me, 81 chapters and not even a single chapter in the book is boring in any way. The chapters are so brief that you can read each and every chapter in just 5 to 7 minutes on an average. And uh, even if you are a slow reader, you can finish it in within 5 to 7 minutes, which is a very small time. And even if you don't like reading that much and uh, you want to give reading a go in non-fiction genre, then you can uh, go for Tao Te Ching because the chapters are so, so brief that you'll not get uh, bored flipping the pages and reading a lot. 
and <clears throat> another thing is that this is the oldest book that i'm recommending today which is more than a century old but the things in the book are so unconventional just as i said in the book before and you can follow them uh, <clears throat> at any time in life <clears throat> if you uh, wish to follow authentic rules uh, that were put out uh, in the uh, long t- uh, that were put out long time ago then go for tao te ching by lao tzu the next book that i'm recommending today is a memoir and the book i'm speaking about is becoming by michelle obama now this book was uh, released in the later half of 2018 and it has been moving very well in the market ever since this is mainly because the book is so good it is not at all boring at any instant and there are no commercial aspects added to the book by michelle obama if you ask me the book is the story of a person becoming michelle obama from mrs obama it mostly deals with the personal lives of the obamas rather than the political life uh, <clears throat> because if it had been more uh, politically related then i would not have been that much uh, interested in the book because i am not that kind of a reader but it uh, mostly said about their personal life that is how their lives were was beco- uh, before becoming uh, the president or becoming the first lady and how it turned out to be afterwards how it affected her children in a good and as well as a bad way and um, many many things uh we can also see her perspective of a mother which we which she gave to barack when she was a pres- uh, when he was the president and uh, we can see many things uh, which are family related rather than politically related so if you want to read uh, some inspiring or encouraging story in life then go for becoming by michelle obama the last and final book that i'm going to recommend today is my most favorite non fiction book of last year which is how to be a boss the guide to conquer life by lily singh Now if you don't know Lily Singh she is the star YouTuber out there and she just put out this book in 2016 or 2017 I don't remember properly but the book is so so good it just deals with her story of how she became the YouTuber and how uh, she became such a celebrity whom she is now today and um, another thing about the which the book stresses more is you need to be yourself in order to succeed in life and another <clears throat> important thing which she stresses from chapter 1 to the last chapter in the book is that you have to hustle hard and you should never give up or even think of giving up if you want to uh, become the person you have to be in the future so if you like uh, books that are so encouraging and which just push you towards success then go for how to be a boss by lily singh that is all the recommendations that i have for today and if you have read any of these books before do let me know in the comments below and we can chat chat on them and also Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to get more content from me. Thanks for watching.